Crispin Mutoa, together with other Namibians, fled from the then Caprivi region in November 1998, before and after the failed secessionist attack. He was the Secretary of Information for the Muyongos United Democratic Party since he left Namibia. After 18 years in exile, he finally decided to return home. Even political science sometimes think about home. Although I was not a political son, but I went for a political reason uh, that I have felt I no longer will entertain anymore. I will no longer harbor in my, my heart or my life. I left the UDP and now I'm back home. I'm no longer in politics. Uh, I felt joyous, joyful to be home, to see my sisters are still alive, to see that things have changed. I'm trying to cope. I can't even tell. I felt myself maybe I was in a foreign land. Coming back home, it was like, it's strange. I couldn't even understand. Is this my home or what? Mutoya, who had resettled in the United States, arrived in Namibia via Berlin for the Zambez region. He first went to Tukwi refugee camp in Botswana and wanted to be voluntarily repatriated to Namibia. However, as a resettled person, he did not qualify for repatriation like refugees in that camp. We wanted to know whether he informed Muyongo of his intention to return to Namibia. I decided, I don't have to tell Mr. Muyongo that I'm out. He is going to hear it at the same time that you are hearing it from me as well. I'm out from UDP. But I'm no longer in the UDP. I was harboring the idea of making, I mean, seeing a baby independent, but not anymore. I have left Mr. Muyongo and his political party, the UDP. So I'm not going to be uh, entertaining any person who, who beat CCG or any other people that are going to come to me asking me to help them or just be part of them. I'm not going to do that. For his family, it was a joyous occasion to be reunited with their brother. We are very, very happy, extremely happy, because he's our dad. Since we lost our dad a long time ago and he's back, so it's like a substitute. We see him and then we were crying because of joy. We never knew that we'll meet again. He was a breadwinner. So for him going to exile, we never thought of him to come back home. It is a dream that we never expected to come through because we never anticipated that maybe anything uh, help gesture is going to take place. So I'm very, very, very <coughs> happy. Even the responsibilities that I used to, 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 to hold to, to build a village as a young man, it was not easy. So for him coming back, I'm very much relieved and I'm very much happy. Zambezi Governor Alfea Sampofu welcomed him. Sililom Viana, NBC News, Katimamlilo.